YouTubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets today looking at yet another beer that was sent to me from Jens in Germany and this one has to have like by far the most boring label I've ever seen on a beer and it's from Flitz Ale in Germany which is a craft brewery they do modern style craft beer and this is a Flitz India Pale Ale I mean look at that label it looks like a homebrew but uh, it says it's brewed with Pilsen malt, Münchner malt, caramel malt, and the hops used are Amarillo, Simcoe, and Cascade. It's 45 IBU and 5.8% alcohol, so kind of in the pale ale territory. Well, it's like almost, you know, uh, Brewdog's Punk IPA is like 5 point something too. So, yeah, let's get this one cracked open. And thanks a lot to Jens for the beer. I'm excited about trying another German IPA other than the crew IPA that uh, he sent me. So, yeah, let's get forward here. Yeah, definitely see the usage of caramel malt in here. And I'm gonna pour it all in because it did have some yeast in the bottom. And there's like two different versions of it. The 15.4 Play-Doh and the 15.5. And this is the 15.4. And yeah, it's like a dark, hazy, copper color. Really nice two-finger uh, head on there. Like a off-white colored head. Still the aroma. Mmm, smells pretty good actually, smells pretty good. Definitely picking up on that amarillo kind of aroma where you get the, like the citrusy fruits, like the orange and tangerine notes. And mostly actually just hops. Impressively, they must have just used small amounts of caramel malt and all because it doesn't have insane amounts of, 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 uh, of malt at all. I, maybe a little bit of breadiness, but mostly pick up the hops. Some great fruit notes. A little bit of a piney. It's one of the juicier fruits in there. A little bit of a like a like a tropical fruit nuance almost. It smells pretty nice, and you definitely pick also a little bit of that peachy note from the Simcoe. It's a little bit dank actually, but not super dank as in like the American double white gaze. But yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. That is actually pretty tasty. For me though, it feels more like a pale ale a little because it's not super bitter for sure. You definitely feel it's 45 I've used and not higher. But it's got some nice juicy hot flavors. There is a little bit, a touch of the caramel kind of flavor in the, in the, in the flavor. Uh, but other than that, it's definitely more the juicy hot flavors. Again, a lot of orange. It's basically, it's mostly the sweet citrus fruit that you're picking up on. Yeah, sweeter citrus fruit, like the orange and the tangerine. I get it some bitter grapefruit and a little bit of pine. Touch of the peach, not really the tropical fruit, it's mostly just the citrus fruits. And then it has a slight malt body. It's no way uh, near like the crew IPA, which had a really big malt backbone for like an IPA, but this doesn't at all. This is definitely feel along like the lines of IPA, American Pale Ale, but it's actually really good. It's, it's really nice. It, uh, it reminds me actually of one of the, the pale ales Jakob and I have done, so uh, it's, it's pretty tasty. So yeah, uh, rating wise for the Fritz India Pale Ale, it's a great, pretty good IPA, it's a great IPA, uh, I'm going to go 82 on it, definitely worth checking out if you get the chance. It's actually fun to try a German IPA, they can actually do a pretty solid IPA, I mean it's not as good as again as the American IPAs, but it's still American or Danish like tours and McKellar's and beer here's and whatnot, but it's still pretty tasty stuff. So yeah, guys, definitely, definitely let me know what you think of the Fritz India Pale Ale, the 15.4 Play-Doh version. If you've had it, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I'm gonna say cheers, and I'm gonna see you guys in another beer review.